Good evening, how are you? How are you? If you know you're beautiful, raise your hand, raise your hand. You people, believe in yourself. Believe. Believe in yourself. Madam, you stopped here. <laughs> My name is Dr. Hilary Rokello. It's nice to be here. Uh, during COVID, people gave birth. Ah, you people, lockdown did not mean. Mom, move out there, serious. But it's the thing I've learned about most children from COVID. Children from COVID were ugly. True story. For me, I tell the truth. But this is the thing I've learned about Ugandans. If your baby is ugly, nobody will tell you your baby is ugly. But you will know. <laughs> if your baby is beautiful, there are things you can tell. First of all, everybody wants to hold your child. When people come to visit, it is them who suggest, <laughs> You're like, Ay, And you go and bring the child. Then you give the child to them. When people hold your child, and your child is beautiful, they comment on the face. Oh, his eyes. Oh. Vanage, his eyes are like the father's. Oh my God. Oh, Vanage, his smile. Mm, they even sing for him songs. Kuchi, kuchi, yeah. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, my God. He laughs so nicely. That's how you know your child is beautiful. If your child is like me. First of all, if your child is ugly, nobody wants to carry your child. It is you to tell them, Abaye, do I bring my child? You have to insist, let me bring him. Then you force people to carry your child. Nobody holds your child for more than two seconds. They pass your child around like a hot saucepan in the kitchen. Then they hold the child. Now we quiet. Your child passes around like a hot saucepan. They never comment on the face of your child. When your child is ugly, nobody says, oh, his eyes, he's not. No. They hold your child, they're like, mm. He has a strong back. Eh? The back is strong. He will manage Kampala. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so once again, if you're beautiful, you are still not sure. <laughs> Madam, you have a strong back. Eh? You have a strong. You'll manage Kampala. <laughs> The next time you watch football on DSTV, you also listen to the radio commentary from Gulu FM. Your life will never be the same again. Because you see how white people, when they commentate on DSTV, even if it's your first time watching football, you understand. You know, did you give me the soundtrack? Even if it's your first time. Can't reduce a bit. Even if it is your first time watching football and you're tuned to Sky Sports, white people make you understand the game. Yo, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Total African Cup of Nations uh, 2019. This is another edition of the amazing cup that Africans take part in. Players like DJ Drogba have taken part in this game. Players like Samuel Eto'o have graced this stage. My name is Martin Tyler and I'm with Jim Blakelin. And tonight, we're going to bring you the best of African football. Well, this is Cairo International Stadium. 30,000 fans are here to watch the game. And trust me, it's Uganda Cranes versus Egypt tonight. Then... They make you understand. These people do research. They do research. They mention every player. And of course, in Uganda Cranes today, you know we have, uh, we have Mugabe playing. We have Waiso. And most importantly, we have Dennis Onyango, the captain of Uganda Cranes. Dennis Onyango is 36 years old. He was born in 1985. And trust me, he was born in Molago Regional. That is a national referral hospital. He was born on May 15th. They give you details. Even if you've never met Onyango, his mother is Nakato Olive. And his father is Gabriel Onyango. So in this case, he's almost like the angel Gabriel of football. I trust you. Tell me, Dennis Onyango was born at midnight and the day he was born, the doctor said push, the mother push. The doctor said push, the mother push. A hand came out, the doctor said he'll be a goalkeeper. They give you details. You understand. You understand the game. And most importantly, they say what is happening. Eh? They do not exaggerate. When a pass is made, they're like, why well? Passes the ball down to Mugabe. Mugabe down to Okui. What a low pass. Oh, what a beautiful attempt. It was almost going in. But let's keep watching. I hope that Uganda Cranes will make it. That is what they do. Members, I reduced the volume of DSTV. 
I increased the volume of the radio. Gulu FM. First of all, commentators from northern Uganda, they are already biased. Uganda Koreans have disappointed us many times. They gave up on the team. Same scenario, DJ. Same scenario, I tuned the radio. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are here. Uganda cranes. Hey. Let us see what they will do. Let us see. Let us see what they will do. But if you put your man on Uganda cranes, <laughs> we are praying for you. We are praying. And then the game starts, right? The game starts. They have not done research. It's as if they pick a random person to commentate. He has done no research. He knows one player. One, there are 22 players, but he knows one player. But he has to commentate successfully. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the game has started here. Uganda Cranes versus NRA. Not NRM. The one in yellow. Eh, Egypt, Egypt. They are already here. Nambole. No. Oh, e oh, okay. The Nambole of Egypt. The game is starting. He knows one player. Uh, Dennis Onyango with the ball. Onyango. 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 Onya. Onya. Onyango has given it to his friend, the friend of Onyango. He has given it to another friend, another friend. The enemy has the ball. The enemy. <laughs> ah! and, this, and this is the thing that I've learned. Eh? When you watch football, you realize that white commentators tell you what is happening. They do not exaggerate. If it is three passes, it is three passes. Mugabe passes it down uh, to Wise, or Wise or sends it to Okwit. They say what is happening. My people from Northern Uganda, they don't say what is happening. They say what they expected to happen. Onyango with the ball. Onyango. Why are you giving this one? Can't you see your friend is free this side? Uh -uh. This is why I'm tired of this team. What, what, the worst part is when there's an attempt on goal. There's a missed goal. Eh? White people tell you exactly what has happened. MLQ dribbles one, two, three, crosses. And oh my God, it almost went through. Uganda Cranes almost had a breakthrough this time. But I hope that they will make it. Same situation, my brother. I reduced the volume of DSTV. Increased the volume of the radio. You are on radio. You are wondering what has happened. I, mm, mm, this one. Mm, mm. Ah, ah, ah. 20 minutes you're waiting. Have they scored? What have they kidnapped the referee? Mm, mm, really, really, really. The man was offside. My name is Dr. Hilary Okello. Thank you so much. Have a good night.